pages of Taboria on maskly.com. Today I'm going to take a look at a, a pretty central part of the game called the Arcane Transmuter. And that's sort of in game, that's what everybody sort of lovingly calls the magic box because a lot of modding and upgrading, um, combining, a whole lot of stuff is done in the Arcane Transmuter. So, for anybody tuning in for the first time or just not coming in, I'm Jeremy from Massively.com and this is Runes of Magic, a free-to-play MMO. Um, this is sort of like a Western-style MMO in the vein of uh, Lord of the Rings Online or World of Warcraft or Warhammer, etc. It, it plays a little differently than a lot of, of Eastern import MMOs if people are used to those. So, we're going to look at uh, gear modding, which is a big part of Runes of Magic. And um, I'm going to show you, briefly give you an overview before we dive into it here. This is Varanus, the one of the main cities. At around level, what was it, level 15, I think, the same level you can get your elite skills, you also get access to the Arcane Transmuter. We'll jump over there real quick. It's in the class hall, same place you get the elite skills. So here we are. And there's a guy kind of hiding by himself over here by the bookshelf. Lemon, Lehman, Lemon. This guy will give you access to the Arcane Transmuter, and you'll also, in the future, be able to change some of those Furious tokens that Daily Quests give out. That's one of the things that make Furious tokens so valuable. Hang on one second, I got There we go. Let's try that again. So after you get access, you can always come to this guy and exchange Furious Tokens for the ever-popular Arcane Transmuter charges. And then your Arcane Transmuter appears in your backpack as a button down here. It looks like a chest. And you open it up, and this is all it looks like. You have your charges at the top. That's basically how many uses you're allowed. You have to buy uses for it. And uh, then you have these little holes here and a preview window. So I have 94 charges, but if I wanted to, I could spend 30 Furious Tokens on a, uh, like I just did, and get an Arcane Transmuter charge. And it goes here in my backpack, and I click it to apply it. What I'm doing is I'm clearing space. Now why is that not? Okay. We'll skip on that skip that for now. But once you have the arcane transmuter and you know how to get the charges, uh, you can let me open it back up. You can then do a few things right away that most people catch on to pretty quick. And that's using, let me see. Oops, I lost access to that. That is combining runes or upgrading runes. And the uh, they work for the runes that you find 
every day, all over the place as drops. They drop fairly frequently. Uh, as a quick side note here, for people who've been watching my previous live streams, uh, I got a new user interface, and also you'll notice the addition of a lot of people's names. Um, I'd always turned off all names and all labels and everything. I don't. It's just personal preference. I like a sense of immersion and to have all these little name tags everywhere. Just kind of. It doesn't. I don't hate it. it doesn't make me mad. I just prefer with the ha not having them because I like to have a realistic world to live in. It's, you know, it sounds a little crazy, but you know that's the way I like to play. But I realized that that might not be very helpful, so I turned all these labels on, so it's easy to see who's who. Okay, here I got a ton of runes. Here I have some harm too. And you'll notice uh, runes come in different, t what they call them, tiers. You'll have harm one. In this case, this is a harm two I'm looking at. Like, the, here's a endurance two. Here's a fountain two. A, here's a vigor four. So the higher the tier, the more powerful it is. And you can raise the tier on your own using the arcane transmuter. So for runes, you just simply, you need five of the exact same kind of rune and tier to make one of this of a higher tier room so what we'll do is we'll break this up okay so as you can see I put five now I could have put one in each of these squares but I put a stack of five which is kind of nice so when you, which I'll show you is concerns is more important with combining different rooms but for now I put a stack of five harm twos and you can see the preview window down below it will result in giving me one harm three and this will cost one charge and I hit confirm and zap there it is so now I have a more powerful I hadn't expected my uh, <laughs> backpack page to expire so now I'm like out of room so I have to clear some stuff out So that's essentially upgrading the tiers of a rune. Um, combining runes can result in totally new runes that don't drop regularly in the world. You actually, the only way to get them is to, to make them by combining runes that you do find. And um, there are many, many combinations. I mean, it's like a, it's like a giant recipe book. Um, there's things called called wrath runes. There, there's actually there's a popular rune called the potential rune, and it takes quite a bit of different um, runes and different amounts of runes, and you have to go through many different phases of combining using the arcane transmuter until you find you have to combine like I forget what it is a dozen different runes. Uh, then you com and you have to combine as many as you can. You combine all them. Then you have to combine. Let's say I, I I can't remember exactly, but basically you'll combine like twelve runes, and then you'll wind up with about six different runes. Let's say. Um, then you have to combine certain ones of those. Like you have to uh, combine a certain one, two or three of those specific in a specific. The specific ones you don't want to get the wrong ones and that will result in a, another specific rune and 
which until finally you get down to two specific runes if you combine that as the final phase and wham you end up with a potential and there's many many different recipes like that and they're not there is no recipe list in the game um you it's one of those areas that's just it's a little hard to it's a little hard to figure out, but players have figured it out. You can go to the ROM wiki or um, look at some add-ons, and you'll find different things that can show you the combinations that are out there. But let's move on real quick and and dive into gear modding, which is has a few different um, requirements and different things to understand. take a look at my armor here just some of the stuff that's resulted um, right here this is a very a fairly large modification I've got uh, at the very top the title says magic cunning necklace plus 12 that plus is called a refinement and 12 is the absolute highest you can go six six was the highest and actually, most of the time, six is the, the cap on that. But occasionally, rarely, they'll put out special jewels in the cash shop that will let you go past six and all the way up to 12. Uh, another thing, uh, more specifically to the Arcane Transmuter, is all the uh, green and yellow stats below... You know, that you can see below here. Um, uh, the, well, the green stats are actually came with the weapon. I, I got one with all these yellow stats. Now, these are stats that you, you'll be using the Arcane Transmuter to rip, to rip off of other armor and to make into what's called Fusion Stones and then into what's called Mana Stones. Then you'll be burning it, so to speak, onto a piece of armor that you really want. And that's what somebody did here, and then I just bought the armor from them. Um, and stats also come in tiers, which are uh, have different colors. There's green, yellow, and now the newest one is orange. Uh, green will have one stat attached to the stat name and as I as you can see to the right of the yellow is a name like here we have a, uh, Illumine or Illumin 8 Demon of Com Competition 8 Demon of temp the Temple 8 and so on greens will have names they'll have names like this but they'll only have one stat attached per name and yellow is a higher tier, so they'll have two stats per name. And then orange, the newest one, is still the hardest to come by, which I might have one to show you. Yeah, here we go. If you look here. I have one called here called Seal of Holiness 7, and it's an orange stat. It has three actual numbers attached to it. So the limit is you can have six stats or stat names. You can have six stat names. You can't have more than that. And as you can, see, but you can get better ranked stats. So you really do have more numbers. You have a whole con a whole slew of stuff you can attach. And um, there are some rules on attaching when you're using the arcane transmuter to attach. Or burn the stats onto a piece of equipment. Um, that might be better explained by actually going through showing you the process. So let's. Now I cleared out some space. I'll I'm going to go right uh, just a few steps over to an NPC that sells in game fusion stones for gold. You can buy, and commonly by the community, they're pretty. They're termed a few different terms. Some, most commonly, we you'll hear people shouting in world chat, uh, looking for 
uh, dirty or dirty stats or clean stats. Now, just because it says dirty stats doesn't mean they're bad. It just means that uh, you're going to have a piece of equipment. I might have one on me. Here, actually, let's just show you the. Oops. Oh. Wrong NPC. Here we go. Okay. Now, the in game fusion stones are what players typically call dirty because uh, they won't have really exactly the stat that a player would want to have given a choice. A player would rather not have these stats because they can find better ones. But because of some of the rules for using the Arcane Transmuter, you, can, you are stuck with these stats that people typically don't want. Hence, it's a dirty stat. Um, there is a way using the cash shop to get clean fusion stones. You can only get them from the cash shop. That means you're, you'll get every single stat that you would want. Um, let's see, we want upgrading. Here it is, right here. Um, regular price is 55 diamonds, purified fusion stone. So I'm going to buy a few of these, and we're going to make some mana stones now. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Some of these will have different things on them. Uh, like this one is going to have a plus... It's going to always have a command 1 and a strength 2, but then it's going to have a third randomly obtained additional stat. So even if I were to buy three of these, there's no chance that they would be exactly the same. But I am going to buy three of them. Because we need three to make, well, I'll show you why you would want three to make your mana stones. To make a mana stone from a fusion stone, well, let's, let's not get to that yet. I'm going over here to buy some equipment be because you need some cheap equipment that will get destroyed in the process of making a fusion stone. And a lot of people will come over here in Varanus, um, and uh, I'll, I'll have to explain this a little bit later too. They'll come over here and buy these cheapo belts. Or they go to Obsidian Stronghold, and there's a there's some cheapo belts there for higher levels that have a higher tier. And that we'll get into tier in a minute here. So let me make sure I have everything you need. Okay, so essentially, basically, all you, all you're doing is you're taking. Uh, let's say you want to to get these stats onto. You, uh, onto a sword you just got. Well, not let's not think about the rules, the different rules yet, but essentially all you're going to do is you're going to buy a fusion stone, buy a cheap piece of of armor that's or equipment that's going to get destroyed and put them both in here. And as you can see in the preview window, what we'll end up with is a mana stone that's tier one. And it has it has the uh, stats that were on this fusion stone. Okay, but to burn, uh, we'll need we'll, to um, burn these. We'll need three mana stones and the piece of equipment that you want to keep that you want the the stats to go onto. So we're going to do this two more times. Well, I gotta hit confirm first. All right, anybody that's just coming into the chat room or just tuning in, 
this uh, this is Jeremy taking a look at Runes of Magic's Arcane Transmuter, which is central to upgrading your equipment. Uh, if you have any questions, just I can see the chat room, so just ask away, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, we've got our three mana stones. Uh, now, something to take note of. You don't have to just take note of it right now. You don't have to worry about it. it they, these are mana stone tier one, and they each one has physical attack and strength. Oh, these two came out exactly. Okay, when I bought these. They didn't take the random stats, but this one did take a third random stat, so if you look, there's physical attack strength, physical attack strength, physical attack intelligence and strength, okay? Now, I'm just going to buy another piece of equipment real quick and pretend that it's the, the armor that I want. So, oh, let me say, I got my leather armor. I love this piece. I really want to keep it, and I want to make it stronger. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I want to, to actually add these. So we're ready now. We bought the fusion stones. We made, turned them into mana stones, and now we're ready to to add them to this piece of equipment. Okay, uh, there's one, two, and we'll add the third one, and there. Now we got three mana stones, and I want to put them on this leather gladiator armor. Here's what will, and here is, um, ignore this one that says current equipment. Oh, look at the block box on the left. This is what we'll end up with. We'll end up with that armor, but look what it will have. It'll have a plus five physical attack, plus three uh, intelligence for, it will have those stats. So I'll go ahead and make it. Boom, there we go. That's, we just made our first, we just actually modified our first piece of gear. But now let's look at some rules and requirements and restrictions. The first, let me see, the first one I'll start off with is that, well, I already told you that you can only have up to six stats or stat names onto a piece of equipment. So let's take, let's do an example by using this one. I'm going to go real quick and buy, oh, I should have bought those ahead of time. I'll buy a bunch of fusion stones and we'll, and we'll modify the same exact piece of gear again because I want to show you some of the things that can happen if you don't pay attention you don't uh, you, that you could accidentally mess up with so I want to buy some other random stuff that has different stats buy one of these, buy one of these okay There's going to be, there's a rule about the strength of the stat, how good it is, that says only the weakest stat will go, the, all, the weakest stats will always go on to the, uh, will always go on to the mana stone first. So, if you have, if you already have um, if you already have three of these, and I wanted to add six really, really good ones, well, I just won't be able to, because the lowest ones will always go on, and they won't get overwritten. You can't overwrite lower stats 
with strong with higher stronger stats you just can't so you want to get it right the first time um, and geez, running out of there we go thought we were running out of space again Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go through this process again real quick. With three of these. And I think it's real good to see this, even though I'm repeating stuff. You know. The more you do it, or the more you, you see it being done, the more comfortable you'll get with it. Oops. Okay. Okay. Leave that one in. We're going to add this one. Add this one. Okay, here's our armor. We have a command 1, intellect 1, and a strength 2. These mana stones have different things like a life 2, solidarity, a light, flame 1, energy 2. So these are all going to be different. So essentially what's going to happen is there's going to be whatever the pre-programmed code in the game is going to look at all these. And you're going to get the lowest stats. Now let's say in case of an intellect 1 and a, a solidarity 1, they're there is a secret number on in each of these boxes okay that will determine which stat goes on first now that's sort of a secret of the game i think but you can go on to the rom wiki again or other places online to find out these details um, that's really getting pretty advanced right away I don't want you to I don't want to confuse you right off the bat by all of this stuff but if you did have like a flame one command one whoops a solidarity one light one intellect one dexterity one and you knew that and you knew you could replace some of those same tier stats with another same tier stat that you really wanted more of you can't. You have to pay attention to which box you put the mana stone into because the box will say, "Oh, this is in the upper left-hand corner. That means put this one on first, which will push off the ones that are already on, and then it'll say, "Okay, then put this mana stone on, which will has a tier one, which will push off the push the stat off of." that was just put on with this mana stone that just also pushed off this stat that was on the armor and so on. That's getting really advanced. Okay, so what I did was I just quickly threw that in there and now bam, look what we got. We got all tier one. None of those tier two stats that were on the mana stones made it. They didn't. They got all pushed off because there was already at least six tier one stats and lower stats always go on first and since there was a total of six tier one stats they all got they all got first dibs they were all first in line the computer said oh all you tier one guys you get in first and and until we hit reach six and then you know if there's still room after all we you guys are in here then we'll move on to tier two but seeing as how there wasn't enough room there's only enough room for six of them. That's they're the only ones that are on here. So what? So here's a solution for people playing strictly in game, without or you know you're trying to save money or you just want to understand this. Look, you need to have three identical fusion stones. If they're going to be three dirty fusion stones, look at this one over here. Let me. Close, don't look at the Arcane Transmitter right now. This one, okay? It has a whiff to command one and a missed one. You, if you want, if you have, now that's three stats. That's half of your limit. 
let's say you have you went to the auction house and you bought a mana stone that has three yellow stats that you really love and you really want them to be on here well you can't do what I just did you can't go through that simplistic let's buy a whole bunch of random fusion stones and throw them on there and hope that you'll get the ones you want that just won't work you'll end up with what I showed you you'll end up with with this which pushed off all the better stats and you'll be stuck so what you do is if you have three if you have identical stats they they cancel each other out okay so if I have three fusion stones that all look exactly the same let's say they all let's say I have three of these and they're identical then that's three stats three that's three whiffs or three whiff twos three command one and three missed one stats all of them will cancel each other out so in the end you only have three stats that means you'll have three empty spaces and then you can take that mana stone with the three yellow stats that you really really like and you can put them on and they will go on and you'll get and then you'll have a total of six but you have to have but in order to do that you have to have three identical fusion stones and now if you're buying them from the NPC that I showed you over down there in, in uh, the lower west wing you can hope and hope <laughs> that you keep buying them and keep buying them that eventually some of them will be identical and they will be some of them will but that's a very costly way and it's a very much on chance alone um, if you don't mind buying some here and there and keep saving them if you have the bank room and and space for them all good great you know do that and eventually but here is an easier way uh, obviously I mean it's an easier way to go into the auction house look in look through the, the fusion and mana stones and find the ones that you need um, do a combination do a combination of getting the room the ones you want from from making them yourself and then look on the auction house just shop around uh, you know and you and it, it'll make your life easier to find equipment enhancements fusion stones here there's always tons of fusion stones on the auction house as you can see here there's a lot of mana stone tier four which i'm about to get to in a second or in a couple minutes so this is how you can find the ones you really want better other than that, you can pay you can pay some money and drop a few dollars and buy some purified fusion stones that are clean uh, and do, do them that way. Um, okay, do the identical stats have to be in the same order or does that matter? Um, <clears throat> no, it doesn't matter. They're all identical. Here, let me open this uh, back up again. I was I was going over a little bit of that um, earlier I was talking about how there's a secret order to each of these little boxes in the arcane transmuter but if if they're all identical if if I have three of these fusion stones and they're all identical I mean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what order you're using um, to put them on because these three stats are going to go on no matter what now if you have three if you have if you have a piece of armor like I was saying earlier like this it has six stats already on it I have a command intellect flame solid solidity light and dexterity now let's say I have this I want that this has a command and a mist oh, I already have a command on there do I have a mist no Let's, okay, this one has a mist, which is different. And let's say I'm a priest and I want the water re resistance that the mist gives. I'm like, wow, I really want that. And it's only a mist one. It's the same tier, same level. Yes, you can do that. You can add that. And it'll push. 
it'll basically it'll push. The, I think it pushes the oh shoot. It, I think it pushes the bottom stat off. So the dexterity one will disappear, and then at the top above physical attack, this my mist will appear. Now, if you have m multiple, I mean, let's say you're making the armor for the very first time, and you don't have any of these stats on it at all, but you're getting ready to put them on it, but you have these mana stones that will have, like, uh, all these different l same level stats. All of them are the same level, but you have more than six of them. That means, wow, they're all the same level, so they can, they can replace each other. But there's more than six. Then you want to look. Then you're looking at them like, wow. Well, I would rather have the mist one go on than than the solidity. How do I figure out that the mist will go on and stay on, and not the solidity if they're the same level? Well, you can do that because there's secret. There's a secret uh, order to the arcane transmuter. Well, these boxes are numbered from one to five, and you can go on to the ROM wiki or some other place and you can find that secret order and I can't remember it offhand and it's not as simple as top left is one, top right is number two, the middle is three, top left, bottom left is number four and bottom right is number five. It's not as simple as that. It's all mixed up. Like it might be one, three, five, two, four. I don't know. Um, oh, what game is this? Uh, for anyone else just tuning in, this is Runes of Magic. It's a free-to-play MMO that's real similar to games like World of Warcraft uh, and Warhammer or Lord of the Rings or other Western games. Uh, it does play a lot like Western games, like WoW. And uh, I'm, right now I'm taking a look at the Arcane Transmuter, which is a pretty integral part of the game. And uh, it allows you to upgrade armor cra to crazy levels, like you can see right here. And uh, it's pretty central to the game. I mean, the game is all about gear modding, pretty much. That's the central focus. But, <clears throat> but for people who have no idea what the game is, I'll give you a, a real brief rundown, super quick. The game, it, uh, a lot of people say it's a WoW clone that's free. And I wouldn't say that's ter terribly wrong to say, but the game is very unique. It's very one of a kind. I think it has many, many features that no other MMO has quite done or even done the same. And uh, it's a very fun game. It's a very fun game. There's tons of features that no other game has. And it's really fun. Uh, it'll feel like you're playing a full-blown AAA Western MMO RPG. That's what it will feel like. Uh, it does lag and stuff. Uh, it's not perfect, but what game is? The it's um. It's there's featured there's housing. Player housing is in here, and you have a ton of control. I mean, you have player housing. You have housekeepers. I'll get into all that another time. If you want to know more about the game, check out my article, Lost Pages of Taboria, that comes out every Monday on Massively.com. Uh, I write about Runes of Magic every week, uh, so you can find out a lot of a lot of information there if you're wanting to know more. Uh, but let's get back to uh, the gear modding for now. Um, where was I? Oh yes, so I think I finished up answering your question about the identical stats and the order they can go in. I hope that clears things up. The Arcane Transmuter does have a bit of a learning curve in this game, but really, once you start doing it a few times, it becomes like second nature. Uh, you'll get the hang of it super fast. Okay, <clears throat> so, well, to, to, uh, to emphasize what I just said, those stats that... Uh, I was playing around with were all the same tier. They were all green, uh, green stats, and they were all green one. Green, the name stats were all level one. So you have that's just an idea of, of how many different stats are, are in the game. By the way, even with only green stats, 
This one's whiff two, command one. That means they're both green stats, but one's a, a level one and or tier one and one's a tier two. Well guess what? You can have let me show you this on my armor, model earrings. Uh, solidity ten. You can have up to and you can have even higher. And those are still only green stats. Here's a life ten. Here's a life nine. Here's a uh, here's a yellow stat, but it's not level eight. It's only level seven. So even within the color, the, even within the the colors of the stats, there's a whole range of levels. I think there's twelve different levels of green, and I think right now the highest yellow stat is eight. I think, if I'm not mistaken, eight is the highest for yellow, and I think seven right now is the highest for orange. But that just reminded me of, of something, of another, some more rules I want to tell you about. Um, besides the order and the tiering, the, high, the lower tiers are always going to go first. Besides that, um, oh geez, I just forgot. I just forgot what I was saying. Let's hear it for brain laps. Energy 4, what was I looking at? I was talking about the Dexterity 1. Okay, let me try to remember and get back on track. Um, wow. Oh, brain lapse. Um, okay, let me start somewhere else. So, that's, that's some of the rules there. Um, let's see, there's higher tiers, the higher, the lower tiers always push off the higher tiers. You can actually, for people that really want to be like min-maxers and, or, or really just there, you know, some people spend a good, a pretty penny of real life money on their armor and they want to make sure they get it right which is understandable so you can go to the runes of magic official forum and find some really nice sticky guides that people put up uh, that show you which stats will push wh what other stats off they will show you the exact order of stats of all the colored stats and all the levels of each color stats it gets very detailed it's a huge list because there's just I don't know, there's probably over a hundred, heck, there's probably a hundred or hundreds now of different stats. It's crazy. Uh, and it'll tell you all the orders and all the colors and exactly so you don't mess up and accidentally ruin that uber armor you were making. Um, boy, I really wish I could remember what I was going to say. I'm trying to I'm trying to jog my memory here. As far as the arcane transmuter is concerned, I think I essentially showed you the basics of how to put everything on to some armor. Um, oh here's a place here's let's alright, here we go. We'll get back on to a track here. Going into the auction house, you can see that a lot of people make money by pr making up mana stones and selling them. Pre -made, they're sort of like pre-made stats, you know, and it's really nice to have. Um, oh, that's right. I just jogged my memory. I was going to talk about the tier, okay? See, all this time I was showing you how to upgrade this piece of armor and talking about just the stats. But mana stones and using the arcane transmuter <clears throat> affect the tier of equipment. They, if you look at this piece of armor at the very top under the name, it says leather gladiator armor and below it, it says tier one. Okay. Now even after I put all these stats onto it, it's still only tier one. That's because we are dealing with a, a low-level piece of equipment. 
uh, the low level stats, it's all very low level, so nothing changed. But when you're adding stats to a piece of armor, you can also upgrade the tier of the armor, which is very significant because for every tier that you raise a piece of armor or weapon, it increases the base stats of that weapon or armor by 10%. So if I raised this from tier 1 to tier 2, that raised the base stats 10%. That means right now it has a physical defense of 101, a magical of 113. Well, add 10% to that because I raised it a tier. Now, you can go up. As far as we know right now, there's really no limit to tiering. Uh, but... There's, it takes so many mana stones and so many fusion stones and so much money and gold that most people don't have anything past like, well, I'm not even sure. I, I think I might have read that somebody on one of the servers had a tier 12, but I've never seen a tier 12 with my own eyes. I have seen a tier 11 and I've heard about people on some of the other servers having tier 11, which is in the, in the uh, scope of armor and upgrading and modding. Tier 11 is insane. That's like the highest I've ever seen. That would add basically 110% to the base stat of, of whether it was a weapon or a piece of equipment. And, uh, but, I... Uh, on the, the the same note, in order to raise something to tier 10, to tier, heck, even raise something past tier 6, it's going to take you a lot of time, a lot of gold and or real money, and a lot of man t fusion stones and mana stones. I'm talking a lot. I mean, to get tier 10, if you start from scratch, from tier 1, or even from tier 3 or 4, you're going to be, you're looking at spending, you're looking at like thousands of stones. I mean, and I don't even want to try to guess without having a reference to how much gold and other information. But, but uh, let's look at, let's look at what happens when you upgrade uh, the tier. I think that should about cover it too. That gives us about, we've got about 10 more minutes before I end this. And that should let me show you an example of how to raise the tier on something. And that should finish up the, the basics of the arcane transmuter. So I'm going to hop over to Obsidian Stronghold because that's like Dust Devil Canyon is like level 40 plus. So they have the NPCs there have higher tiered um, equipment you can buy straight from them. And you saw, and that's really popular right now, especially if you're already over level 40. Many, many people in the game will wait until their level cap before they really start investing a lot of time and money into modding super gear. Because, whoops, let's see, no, I, I almost went to the wrong place. Because, you know, they feel like it's a, they feel like it's a waste of time and money to modify, I'll do a lot of modification on if you're only level 30, and then two weeks later you're going to be level 35 or 40, depending on how much you play. And then they're like, wow, I spent all that time and money, that was kind of a waste. That's the, that's the idea behind it. That doesn't mean you can't do it. Heck, I have a level 29 priest rogue that uh, I leave at level 29 because it's that's the higher end of the arena, the battlefield. Uh, yeah, if you've played if you've played WoW, then you know how you probably know how the battlefields work, and you know how people build a twink, and let's say they'll stay uh, well. One of the level brackets in Runes of Magic is levels 1 through 30, or level 1 through 29. And then there's level 30 through 39, I think, and then 40, so on. 
So I, I stay at the very top end of that bracket. Um, whoops, I almost got, almost left. So I built a little level 29 twink uh, and gave him like some, some really, really good armor and weapons. I'm still working on them actually. but I've been slowly adding more and more modifications to them. That way, you know, that way I can really own some other players when I go into either the arena or the battlefields. <clears throat> okay. Over here is some uh, armor, plate armor merchant. I'm going to buy some stuff. Uh, let's see. Wow, I hadn't realized how little armor or how little money I had. I guess I spent a lot on those fusion stones. <laughs> Let me sell some stuff. Uh, I guess I didn't need all these. Okay. Oh, also to go back to what I was saying about finding a list of what of what stats will be greater than what other stats, so which stats will push others off. You got to be real careful because some people get fooled. They'll get, well, they'll they'll get tricked or they'll get mistaken because. Look at this armor here, piecemeal chainmail says it has a yellow a yellow name stat that's called seclusion three, but it has a green stat called command four. So which is better? Command four or the seclusion three? Well, in this case the seclusion three is better. But there's other levels like that. I mean which is better? A command ten or a seclusion two? You know, because the seclusion's yellow, but the but the command 10 would be green. Uh, you, you know, you got to pay attention to that. So when you're modding, at, you don't want to accidentally uh, accidentally replace the stat you really wanted to keep because then the damage is done and you'll have to kind of start over. Uh, let's see what I was going to do. I was going to buy one. Oh, please tell me I still had three of those. Yeah, good. Okay, what I'm doing here is I bought these because these are tier three. These automatically start at tier three. And, uh, oh, that might not work. Let's just go through it. If it doesn't work, I'll explain the theory of how it works. So I'm going to open up the Arcane Transmuter now. And instead of using tier 1 belts, I'm using tier 3, and I'm making fusion stones. Or I'm making mana stones with those fusion stones I still have. I'm going to do it quick. Here's one. Yeah, um, if, there, if you have any other questions, if you're just coming in, you know, go shoot, go ahead, fire away. I mean, I'll answer to the best of my ability. I mean, even after I'm telling you all this stuff, uh, you might it might take some practice and actually thinking it through in your own mind to really grasp it because uh, there's a lot of like, you know, it's a lot of like DOS. It's a lot of like DOS old DOS code. It's a lot of like problems, like if and then problems, like if x equals v, then go to c, and, or but if x equals c, then go to n, you know, so it's a lot of that kind of thing. But essentially, uh, you just use three fusion stones and create three separate mana stones with stats, and then you burn it onto armor. Okay. Okay, so I made three three mana stones that are of tier three. 
now. So you'll if I have a piece of armor that is tier three, let me see if I actually do. Tier three. Heavy iron belt tier three. So this should work. I say should. I, I really sound confident. I'm really giving you guys confidence, aren't I? Anyways. <clears throat> Let's put them in. Now, oh, look what we got. Oh, we got a tier three. I meant I needed, I needed the tier four mana stones. Yeah. Um, so here's the, the idea since I didn't get to actually show it to you. Uh, unless I have a tier 2 piece of equipment. It's tier 1. What's this? Tier 3. That was 1. Shoot. I probably sold it. Oh wait, here's tier 2. Let me, let me try this. Aha! Okay, bam! So, I want to raise my tier 2 um, staff to tier 3 as well as adding the, the stats from the mana stats. Well, in order to raise a tier just by itself, let's not think of anything else. No, don't worry about the stats. Just to raise the tier, I need three mana stones that are all at least one tier higher than the equipment. In this case, I have a tier 2 staff. Well, I'll need three tier 3 mana stones in order to raise the staff to tier 3. And as you can see, these here's three mana stones, here's tier 2 staff. I'll end up with, as you can see, it'll say tier 3. And, and that'll give me the modifier. It'll give me, it, it's invisible. It won't automatically show you the modifier, but it's there. It adds 10% to the base stats. Um, actually, it does show it to you with the numbers. Look here. Before I modify it, it says physical defense 36. Okay? But now after, it says physical defense 39.6. Well, that's because of the modifier I got for raising the tier. And it's like killing it's like uh, killing two birds with one stone. I'm adding stats onto the weapon and I'm raising the tier of the weapon or armor. But okay, um, I know that was a, a mouthful. That was a lot and I wasn't very clear and I kind of backtracked and stumbled a little bit. but the hours up. And that's about, that's the basics of the Arcane Transmuter, which is very central to this game. Um, you're going to see, you're going to see people running around everywhere with insanely modified gear. And they're going to be a lot tougher than you. Let's see if this, whoops, you just left. Let me take one minute here. I know we're going over, going over the limit, time limit, but. It's only one minute. I don't think it'll hurt. Let me go and just take a quick look at this player right here. Inspect equipment. Now, wow, this person's 6262. This person has some very nice equipment. Now, this is what a person. Now, instead of look over on the left here where it says current equipment, this is what I have, which is very. I mean, it's basic stuff. It's a basic drop I got for killing or completing a quest. Now, quests do have some cool st stats, like this life 9 or life 10. And if I want to, I can save that armor and rip it off using a purified fusion stone or even a, what, I, what I told you at the beginning, a dirty, dirty fusion stone, which is an in-game fusion stone that has a few stats already on it. Now I could do that and rip it, rip these off. And I could do that like three times. I could rip the life nine off or the life ten, and so on, and then make them. You know, or I can buy these. People make them ahead of time. You just, if you have the money, you can just buy them from the auction house. That's what I did with a couple of mine. 
Um, <clears throat> uh, I had this other thing I was going to tell you, and I lost it too. I'm not thinking today. There was another rule. Oh my goodness. I have to apologize. There is one more rule about the arcane transmuter, and I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. Shoot, I had gotten the idea from just talking about... You can rip those stats off. Or buy them. Oh, I'm going to be disappointed in myself if I end this if I end this broadcast without telling you that one rule. What am I trying to think? Okay, you have, you can raise a tier, which adds ten percent per level. Well. I apologize, can't think of it, so I'm just going to end this, end this um, live stream here. Um, I'm going to be on for a few minutes, so if you want to talk in the chat room, that's cool. Uh, thanks to Ruby for that idea. Thank you, Ruby. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this and say this was Jeremy for Massively.com. You can read my articles about Runes of Magic every week. Uh, called Lost Pages of Taboria every Monday on Massively.com. And uh, uh, if you have any more questions, go ahead and ask them in the chat room. I'll be in there for a few minutes longer. But uh, this will be the end of the today's live stream. And I'll be back next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from 8 to 9 with another live stream of Runes of Magic if you want to tune in next week. Uh, they'll be an, they'll be putting up another massively TV guide on massively.com so uh, so you can catch that and find out what I'll be doing in game next week. All right, have a good night and uh, happy April Fools. No, this wasn't a, this wasn't one big joke.